I think uh, the government, the, the bank has done uh, a great job over the years uh, to assist the continent develop itself. And uh, the emphasis of the bank, which is poverty reduction, has always resonated with the, with the member countries. Uh, the high five today are also emphasizing the areas that the, 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 the uh, member countries are in need of, of assistance. So, so we really very much appreciate how the bank is our bank, the African Development Bank, our bank, and how we always rely on the resources that come from the bank, uh, resources that the bank itself has, and resources that they uh, draw in from other from other from other institutions and also other. Uh, other funders. So, so we are we are very pleased with the way the bank is doing. I think the bank is doing very well uh, in working with uh, us, with us, with the member countries. Specifically, over the last few years, uh, I think the bank has uh, de de decentralized adequately. Uh, today, uh, I think there are today we were given the number of countries that the bank has uh, offices. And it, it, it continues spreading, uh, not too thin, but just adequately. Uh, and and the, the bank is today closer to the countries than ever in the past. And, and uh, I think that increases the effectiveness of the bank, of bank operations. And the bank's activities are now bearing fruit. Uh, therefore, uh, the social activities that the bank is doing, uh, the Feed, Feed Africa, uh, all those things are very, very important. It's our Africa. We, we, uh, we feel good uh, dealing with the African Development Bank. Uh, we, we really do, because uh, uh, the staff of the bank, are, most, of the, most of them are from Africa, uh, and they know the cultures. They know what, what African re requirements are, African demands are. Most of the people grew up in the same circumstances that these countries are in. And therefore, we, 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 we really do appreciate and, and support our bank to, to, to uh, develop even more. I am expecting a lot from Busan and uh, what, uh, uh, what, uh, what, what a decision to make when, when you are talking about the industrialization then to meet in Busan. <laughs> because that, that country a few years back was not as industrial as today. Uh, and therefore we expect a lot we expect the issue of private sector investment money coming to Africa. Uh, I, I think it's the appropriate place to meet if, if you are going to talk about uh, private sector development. It is Busan is the place to meet. Uh, so we are expecting a lot of industrialization. We are expecting a lot of meeting about uh, what, what, uh, what we can offer uh, to businesses, what we can offer in terms of land and in terms of resources, in terms of developing new resources, and in terms of industrializing our continent, uh, that is the place to meet. I think it's where the East and the West and the Central and everybody meets in Busan. So we are looking forward to meeting and we are fo um, looking forward to uh, uh, explaining and, and, uh, and, and putting on the table our demands, our requirements, and at the same time, the resources that we have uh, to develop our continent further. Uh, I think we can, uh, we can learn a lot from South Korea, particularly in the area of industrialization. Uh, I am old enough to say that South Korea developed in the last 30 years. Uh, in the last 30 years. Uh, I think 35 years ago, I was in college, and uh, most of the people in that school that I was in were, were from South Korea. They were all studying engineering. <laughs> they were all studying engineering in one big university in the US. And uh, you, you couldn't talk about South Korea then. You couldn't talk about South Korea then. I think it was very underdeveloped. Uh, I don't know how it was rated 20, 35 years ago. We can go back and look. But today, it is one of the most developed industrialized country I think we can learn a lot about uh, the road that they have traveled, what they have done differently. We have to learn a lot from them. Uh, from them and China at the same time. I, I think we, we can learn from the East more than we can learn from the West as, as, as far as Africa is concerned. 
I think we have to align our activities better with them than with the rest of the world. Well, the industrialization for, for the West was 1800. Industrialization for the East was just a few days ago. <laughs> it was just a few years ago. So there is still people who actually develop, uh, uh, grew up in poverty, who are today mega million companies, can be found in South Korea. It can also be found in China. And so these really are our, they, are, they have to be our source of information and, and so, source of in inspiration, so to speak. So we are all looking forward to uh, going to Busan and meeting with the, with the rest of the world who are interested. Africa is the continent that is still to develop. And therefore they are also looking forward into uh, places where they can invest their money in. So it is really a, a combination of, uh, you know, uh, where, where, the, where the resources are and where the skills are and, and putting them together, Africa and Asia together will be the best. We are looking forward to it. I, I think in every country uh, we have two resources. One is people, the other one is natural resources. And uh, included in the natural, re natural resources are the land, what is in the land, the land you have, and what you can use that land for, both inside and outside the land, and what you have in the oceans. Uh, another equally important element, maybe more important if you look at Japan, is people. Even if you don't have anything else, uh, you have people, when you have people, uh, you, can, you can use people, you can skill people, you can equip people, so that they can create the resources. It is people who create the resources, not the other way around. And so Africa is full of people, full of youth. In my country, for example, uh, we are told that we are about, let's say, 75% uh, younger than 40 years. And therefore, uh, wh where we have to put emphasis is development of our youth, it's killing them, giving them the necessary skills, give, give, giving them the necessary tools to, to make life better for themselves. Uh, and, and then finding the resources for them to be employed. And I, I think the bank is doing very well in those areas. Uh, 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 there is a program in the bank, I think, uh, is, is killing the youth or something. I, I don't remember exactly what the terminology is. But, but the bank, and, and the president mentioned it today, uh, the bank is putting a lot of emphasis on, 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 on the area of youth employment. That is the area that I think we should put a lot. And even in that particular area, we can learn more from South Korea. They have done a great job uh, putting a lot of emphasis on skilling people. First of all, des designing what they want to, the country to be, and then equipping it, and you cannot remove people from there. And, and youth employment. Youth is killing, is killing the youth, giving them necessary skills to be able to deliver what you want and uh, finding the resources for them to get employed. They are, they are very re relevant. I think it was put together by somebody who, uh, who knows a lot about Africa, uh, Dr. Adesina. Uh, and uh, I, I don't know, I, I think some are more relevant to, to different countries have different areas of emphasis. Uh, the very fragile, uh, very fragile countries like mine, Somalia, uh, the area that we put a lot of emphasis is Feed Africa. That, 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 that theme, Feed, feed Africa. Uh, we have a lot of uh, a lot of drought, uh, a lot of drought, uh, and, and therefore uh, a lot of famine. You know, I think the last famine in Africa is still in Somalia. No, not today, but very recently. Uh, those are the areas that we, we think the bank is putting a lot of emphasis, and these are the areas that we ourselves also we have to put emphasis. And uh, feed Africa means. Uh, of course, obviously, uh, literally, uh, finding adequate food for people. Uh, but if you go deeper, it's uh, managing one's resources. One's resources. Uh, in, in Somalia, where there is always a drought, there is also more water than anybody can use. There is more water, but at the same time, more drought. It is that dichotomy. It is that unfortunate uh, dichotomy that you find in Somalia and, uh, and, and, and maybe a few other countries. Uh, you know, Somalia is suffering from, from drought. When people, countries that have no adequate rain, are not suffering from any shortage of food. 
So it boils down to one thing. I think there is a carrying capacity of the world everywhere you go, where there are people. Obviously, there is a reason uh, for people to be there. There, there is enough adequate food everywhere that people survive and live. Uh, but but it's one of it's, it depends on one's own uh, resources of their manage, uh, res management of their resources. Uh, so so feed Africa for me is the is the most relevant one for us. Uh, so so the, that is that's the area that I think other countries will find the other the rest of the five to be more relevant but that that is the one that I find most relevant for us